Welcome to Leslie John Shares Gospel Ministry. This ministry shares devotionals written and brought to you by Leslie John. And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus, Philippians 4 7 ESV. Which salvation, Leslie M. John. Apostle Peter, the disciple of Jesus Christ, said that the salvation by grace, through faith was not understood by, not only Old Testament saints, but even the angels. He wrote to the dispersed Jews among Gentile nations, and the Gentiles in those lands, that they should keep away from the kind of lust that they lived in, before they became disciples of Jesus Christ. He said that even in their conversations with others they were to remain holy, because God called them holy. The spiritual man seeks spiritual things, and fleshly man seeks fleshly pleasures. He advises the dispersed Jews among Gentile nations, and Gentiles in those lands, that they should gird up their loins of their minds, be vigilant, and hope for the grace, until Lord Jesus Christ comes again. He quotes Old Testament verse, that is, Leviticus 11:44, where the Lord God spoke to the children of Israel through Moses and Aaron that they should sanctify themselves, and be holy, because the Lord is holy. The Lord God commanded them through Moses that they should not defile themselves by eating any kind of food that was prohibited by him. Peter asserts that the disciples of Jesus, and those from Gentiles, who were proselytized, to believe in God, who raised Jesus from the dead. They all believed that the Father gave back the glory to Jesus, who had it when he was with the Father. He had. Jesus had relinquished the equal glory that he had with the Father, and came down to this earth, in the form of a servant, and in the likeness of man. He, who knew no sin, had become sin for us, and died on the cross on behalf of us. God raised him from the dead and after forty days of his resurrection, he ascended into heaven and seated at the right hand of the majesty. Thus the Lord received back the glory that he had earlier relinquished. When the glory of the Father was restored to the Son, he became the hope of all believers, that they might have hope in him. Peter's desire was that we all love one another fervently with a pure heart. Those who, confess Jesus as their Lord and believe and hear that God raised him from the dead are saved, not by corruptible seed, but the incorruptible seed, will have the word of God living in them forever. While the grass withers and so do all the flesh on this earth, the will of the Lord Jesus Christ endures forever and ever. Lord Jesus Christ said. And Jesus came and spoke unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth, Matthew 28 18 KJV. The mystery of one new man, which was hidden during the Old Testament period, was revealed in the New Testament period. Apostle Paul reveals this mystery to us. He writes, How that by revelation he made known unto me the mystery, as I wrote afore in few words, whereby, when you read, you may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in other ages was not made known unto the sons of men, as it is now revealed unto his holy apostles, and prophets by the Spirit, that the Gentiles should be fellow heirs, and of the same body, and partakers of his promise in Christ by the gospel, Ephesians 3 3 to 6 KJV. Whoever believes in Jesus, irrespective of male or female, Jew or Gentile, will receive salvation. The death of Jesus on the cross, his burial and his resurrection is to be acknowledged by the one who seeks salvation. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twain one new man, so making peace, Ephesians 2 15. Later Apostle Paul writes, by the revelation of Jesus Christ, not to allow anyone to judge them in meat, or in drink, or in respect of any holiday, or the new moon, or of the Sabbath days, and thus legalism is done away with. Colossians 2.16 While spiritual things bring blessings in one's life, fleshly things bring ruin. While gathering riches that are necessary for one's life is not sin, excessive gathering of riches out of greed, will bring ruin. Jesus said no man can serve two masters, either he will serve God or mammon, cf. Matthew 6.24, Matthew 19.24. Every follower of Jesus Christ should know that the Father, whom they call on, is impartial in judging them of their work, while they are on their journey to the eternal abode in heaven. We are sojourners on this earth and our inheritance is in heaven. Therefore, Seek only the things that are needed in heaven and gather for future residence, the treasures that last eternally than that of the things that perish. We are redeemed from the bondage of sin, not with corruptible things, such as silver and gold, 
or from vain conversations received by tradition from predecessors, but by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, who was the Lamb of God, without any blemish and without any spot. Lord Jesus said, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal, Matthew 6:19. Lord Jesus Christ was chosen by the Father even before the foundation of the world that he should become the sacrificial Lamb of God, and accordingly he was on this earth and lived among us. He preached repentance, and of the kingdom of heaven that was at hand. It would be better for those, who have erroneous understanding about postponement of the literal kingdom of God, to study Romans 9-11. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, will you at this time restore the kingdom to Israel? He said to them, it is not for you to know times or seasons that the Father has fixed by his own authority. Acts 1 6-7, ESV Jews rejected Jesus as their Messiah and, therefore, the establishment of the literal kingdom on this earth, was not established right away. God allowed the period from his ascension into heaven, until the setting up of his thousand-year literal reign from the throne of David in Jerusalem, for Gentiles to be saved. One should study Romans chapters 9 to 11 to understand this mystery. God caused blindness on the part of Jews in order that the fullness of the Gentiles be come in. Some important verses in this context that need to be studied well are. What shall we say then? That the Gentiles, which followed not after righteousness, have attained to righteousness, even the righteousness which is of faith. But Israel, which followed after the law of righteousness, hath not attained to the law of righteousness. Wherefore? Because they sought it not by faith, but as it were by the works of the law. For they stumbled at that stumbling stone, as it is written, Behold, I lay in Sion a stumbling stone and rock of offense, and whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed, Romans 9 30-33 KJV. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded, according as it is written, God hath given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day, Romans 11 7-8 KJV. Yet the Lord hath not given you an heart to perceive, and eyes to see, and ears to hear, unto this day. Deuteronomy 29 4 KJV. And he said, Go, and tell this people, Hear ye indeed, but understand not, and see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat, and make their ears heavy, and shut their eyes, lest they see with their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and convert, and be healed, Isaiah 6 9-10 KJV. For the Lord hath poured out upon you the spirit of deep sleep, and hath closed your eyes, the prophets and your rulers, the seers hath he covered, Isaiah 29 10 KJV. I say then, have they stumbled that they should fall? God forbid, but rather through their fall salvation is come unto the Gentiles, for to provoke them to jealousy, Romans 11 11 KJV. For God hath concluded them all in unbelief, that he might have mercy upon all, Romans 11 32 KJV. And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them, and I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads, or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years, Revelation 24 KJV. After the resurrection of Jesus from the dead, Apostle Peter, and other apostles, as also Apostle Paul, who followed them, preached the gospel of grace, which was salvation by grace through faith, and it was the gift of God. The Lord said, Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away, Matthew 24 35. So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it, Isaiah 55 11. Peter and other disciples as also Apostle Paul preached this word of God. The word of God does not perish nor shall pass away, but endures forever. And I saw thrones, The disciples preached the gospel of Jesus Christ, whose blood cleanses us from all sin. Peter preached initially to Jews, and later to Gentiles as well, as we read in Acts 10, whereas Paul was chosen by the Lord to preach primarily to the Gentiles, cf. Acts 9 15. 
The good news about the gospel of Jesus Christ is about his death, burial and resurrection. He died on the cross, for our sake and on behalf of us, bearing our sin upon him, in order that we may be delivered from our sin, and that we may receive everlasting life. The salvation is available for all those who confess sins and accept him as Savior, and believes in heart that God raised him from the dead, compare Romans 10 9 and 20. Old Testament saints prophesied about our resurrection and had faith that they will see God. For I know that my Redeemer lives, and that he shall stand at the latter day upon the earth Job 19 25. Compare Psalm 6 5, Psalm 16 10, Psalm 17 15, Psalm 33, Psalm 49 15, Psalm 73 24, Psalm 89 48. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt, Daniel 12 2 KJV. Lord Jesus Christ, who arose from the grave showed us that we will not be left in the grave, but we will also rise from the grave to have everlasting life. But whosoever drinks of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst, but the water that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life John 4:14. 4, we are sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, and therefore, we should not grieve Holy Spirit by committing sins repeatedly. In whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise Ephesians 1 13. Dot and grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby ye are sealed unto the day of redemption Ephesians 4 30. Our salvation is secure and it will not be lost. Referring to those who are already saved by the precious blood of Jesus Christ, the Bible says that all of us were once enemies to God, and went astray like sheep, but then we are returned to the shepherd by trusting him as our shepherd. God loved us first and had compassion on us and he, who forgave us of our sins, is not human to backslide on his promise to take back the gift he gave us, but he chastises us when we go astray. It is by hearing that faith comes, and the hearing by the word of God. Compare 1 Peter 2:25. Romans 10:17. But God commends his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Romans ch. 5-8. It is the Father in heaven, who sent his only begotten Son Jesus, draws men to come to him, and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom all power is given by the Father, will raise from the dead, them that believed in him, compare John 6:44. Ephesians chapter 2 to 8 to 10 reveals a great truth that the gift of salvation cannot be gained by doing any amount of good works, but it is received only by grace through faith in Jesus. None can boast that he or she receives salvation by doing good works, however, a true believer would live to do good works after he has received salvation by grace through faith. We are his workmanship, and therefore, he does not tolerate any sin. Every sin is abominable to God, and no believer, who commit sins after receiving salvation, would escape chastisement. Christ is the head of the church, and those that have Lord Jesus Christ as their personal Savior, are the members of the church. The church is his bride and the bride is the possession of Lord Jesus Christ. When Lord Jesus Christ comes again the church is caught up to be with him forever and ever. He protects his treasured possession from the great tribulation. Thus we are so privileged that our salvation is sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise, and no one can take away our salvation. My Father, which gave them me, is greater than all, and no man is able to pluck them out of my Father's hand, John 10 29. Apostle Paul wrote. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory, 1 Corinthians 15 52-54. What a great hope that we have in Jesus that those believers who died and waiting for the coming again of Jesus, will rise from the grave and say, O death, where is thy sting? And those who are alive when the Lord comes, will transform into new bodies instantly in the twinkling of an eye and will say, O grave, where is thy victory? 1 Corinthians 15:55 KJV Thank you for listening to the message from Leslie John. 
please visit lesliejohn.net. Disclaimer. The devotionals and other articles on lesliejohn.net are intended for spiritual edification. No forcible teaching or conversion is intended. The reader may accept or reject any or all the interpretations or views expressed by the author or anyone on the site. Lord Jesus Christ said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always, to the end of the age. Matthew 28 18-20 ESV. God bless you.